Time now for JS On Air. Smoking among Americans with mental illness, 70% higher than the rest of the population. Yeah, many mental health facilities are not smoke-free because smoking is used as a calming tool. We're joined by Karen Herzog from the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. Karen, another interesting uh, fact you point out is that it helps when people are taking a lot of drugs for their mental illness. Yeah, sometimes uh, nicotine does lessen the side effects of uh, psychiatric medications. However, the bigger picture is that it's also um, hard to uh, break that addiction to nicotine uh, because nicotine does sometimes have a calming effect. Um, if you're someone with a mental illness, you have a lot of anxiety. And um, hospitalizations are sometimes the first time that you've been without a nicotine fix. Um, the mental health complex is a smoke-free environment. Um, and so the first thing that uh, people are asked when they come in for acute treatment is, are you a smoker? Mm -hmm. And where are you in the, in the quitting process if you're interested? They do get nicotine patches or nicotine gum to help them during their hospitalization. Okay, so what does the medical community have to say about this trade-off? I mean, smoking is not good for you, but they like it because it does have these calming effects and it can help with the drugs that they're on. Do they want these patients to quit? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Because if you smoke, you um, increase your chances of other chronic diseases actually taking your life before a mental illness would. Um, so, but that, that gets at the complicated nature of, of someone with a mental illness trying to quit smoking because there are reasons why, you know, it is a beneficial thing for them, but it's not beneficial to their health in the long run. Which brings up the question, how do you help these individuals quit? Because as we know, the general population has a hard enough time. Well, I think it's a matter of talking about it and making people more aware that this is an issue. Um, there is a state program that, uh, that's part of the um, Wisconsin Tobacco Prevention and Control Program that does specifically help people with mental illnesses. But if you think about the messages that are out there for helping people quit, uh, quit smoking, there's very little that's specifically targeted at people with mental illness who have specific issues and higher you know, difficulty in, in actually kicking the habit. All right, Karen, thanks for joining us this afternoon. And you can read more about it at jsonline.com. We also have a link on our website, tmj4.com.